Uh, hi, Dominique. So, yes, that's a good question. So, if we have a look at uh, if the, uh, the raster for that national land cover for 2020, it's just got the codes up to 73. So, all this other rubbish you actually can travel. So, let's say if you knew all of these codes uh, and, their, and their actual land cover, you can type it in. So, let's go have a look um, at what number one is. Now, from that same site, that same location, I downloaded a PDF or it might have even come through with that data. And this PDF has got the actual codes and then the various land cover types. So looking at it here, let's go to number one. Okay, contiguous forest. Let's just copy that and then see what you can do. So let's say you're, you're actually, you've actually opened up this project here. You can actually label these. So let's do this. Contiguous forest. Okay, so what I had done specifically for your tutorial was fill out all of the land uses uh, with the corresponding code. Okay, so, for instance, uh, the other thing I might have done is just deleted all this other stuff. Relevant. And zero as well, I think. Okay, and then if we applied that, okay, okay, then there is your code. Okay, so I had done that for, for all of the, the various codes. Now, what, um, what you can do, because I don't expect you to do that, um, uh, if you don't have to, because in the tutorial data for that tutorial, you can actually load a QML file, which is basically the, the, the layer style uh, template for this particular raster. So let me show you where that is. So if you go into your, if you add your national land cover raster and you just right click on it, go to properties, then you go to style, you're going to load style because I actually saved that QML style. Now, if you go to your tutorials, uh, tutorial data raster, inside raster, there's a, there's a national, South African National Land Cover 2020 uh, UTM Zone 35 South QML. And that is the one. If you select that one and you click open, and you'll see that actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove zero. Um, it's actually all already punched out there. So what I did is I went in, I created all these. Let's apply those. And then what I did, let's just say, let's say okay, so you can see what it looks like. Then what I did is I went back in there. And so after I'd created it, I said save style. And then I created this QML file. Okay, so that is why uh, in the tutorials, it comes through with the land cover data and the code. Whereas if you pull through the original, it just has the codes. Because I actually went in there and I added the, created that QML file. So yeah, if you, you've still got that tutorial data, you'll be able to go and load those styles from that QML file and you'll be A for away. But that's how you do it if you do want to um, create QML files in future for vector or raster data. It's pretty simple either. Otherwise, that's it. I hope you come right with that. Let me know how it goes. Cheers.